people hate buying gasoline. Perhaps more than anything else they buy. They can't see it, feel it, taste it, or hear it. Yet they must pay for it. They can only smell it at times, and some of them find that offensive. There's no record of anyone buying Uncle Charlie a bottle of gasoline in a gift-wrapped decanter. And no one has ever asked for gasoline for his birthday. All people know is that for this seemingly non-existent necessity, they must literally throw money out the window. I'm John McCallum, and this is a look at the attitudes of some of the people who buy and sell gasoline on credit. I'm one of them. I'm a golf dealer, and I've been a golf dealer for over 11 years. There is one thing that has eased the pain most people endure when buying fuel for their vehicles, the travel card. The travel card is a chance for the motorist to get back at the humiliation he feels when paying for something he never sees. The travel card means that he can pay with money the dealer can't see. The motorist is now able to bask in the comforting satisfaction of paying for non-existent gasoline with non-existent money. A small plastic card has even the score. I, uh, I use credit cards exclusively. Well, because we do all our purchases to Years ago when we were doing about 30,000 gallons, we're doing almost 60 right now. So I know that the credit card has helped our sales considerably. Everything goes on the credit card with me. Just, just for the records, uh, I have no questions to when my last uh, set of tires was uh, purchased, for example, because I have credit card records. They buy more when they have travel cards for simple reasons they don't have to pay out now. Well, one thing, I can drive in when, uh, if I don't have the cash on me, why they will take my credit card. Uh, I find that every month at the same time, I receive my statements from the company. And wonderful thing for the service station business. It's brought a lot more TBA service into us. And with the new credit card imprinter, it's made it a lot faster and better and more accurate. And uh, with the golf uh, travel cards, uh, it's, uh, you get to know the person a lot better, and it's a lot uh, easier to keep a customer, too. Well, uh, you treat him good, uh, you treat everybody good, but you treat him uh, a little better because uh, he has a card, and you want to keep him. You know, he's a steady customer. He's not going to go to no other gas station. Convenience, in case of an emergency or something, you always have it there, you know. Break down the road. I'm a salesman and uh, works out good for me. They buy cars, batteries, repairs, everything they need for the car. And they buy more when they got a car. Well, because a lot of times it uh, gets everything all on one thing and I don't have to have the ready cash for it. Ready for it to They're using it more and more. And I don't think a guy could really get along without a travel car. Okay, so when we were on a vacation this summer, we were in a small town Pennsylvania in the mountains, and we couldn't find uh, the stations that we usually use. So we found lost stations, and we were looking for a very good vacation. So the credit card has been a lot easier to work with, where years ago we had to uh, write everything out, take time from the customer. Now we just take the card, stamp it out, everything is in print. We don't have any problems. We both can have a card. I don't know, we started it when we were in business for ourselves a year or so ago, and we just kept it up. And uh, being a salesman, I have to have it so I can uh, use this my income tax reports. I don't, I don't spend it. I don't pay for anything in cash. Uh, you know, in the service station at all. Do they, customers, they love them. Well, I don't know. He just likes to go off That's all I can say. Uh, I, well, I like this for the fact that I can use it in any part of the country. Well, for one thing, it avoids carrying a lot of cash on a trip. Uh, many times I travel and I stay at Holiday Inn and use my golf cart card. And uh, just in general, overall, it can be used as good. Uh, for one thing, I'm glad that they have them, and I wish more people would get them. Well, the credit I like quite well. It's uh, as good as the credit, I believe, that uh, an individual can have. Also, 
when the customers come in now with a credit card and if they need tires. Oil. So I had tune up work done, shots, batteries, everything I bought, I bought the on the credit card here. Well, I get good uh, mileage from your gasoline. It's not expiring. Is a dead answer to the whole The travel card has been very practical and very helpful, financially, mostly, for the dealer. This is not the only credit we have. It's a golf card. We don't believe in buying on credit. <laughs> I think golf is the, the best card, not only for gas, but for traveling and everything. As far as I'm concerned, there isn't another card that you can get that will give you that kind of service. Most people call it a credit card. Golf has more accurately described theirs as a travel card. Because it has become much more than merely a plastic security blanket for gasoline buyers. In addition to that elusive auto fuel, it provides a wide range of travel accommodations from motel rooms and meals to mufflers and tires. They use the golf travel card at Holiday Inn. And a great card for trips. Well, yes, I've used it at the Holiday Inn. I've bought food and lodging. We were up in Chicago last year and uh, we uh, spent uh, we spent six hundred dollars on a trip. It was all on the golf credit card. Golf hasn't offered gift wrapped gasoline yet, but the travel card merchandising program does indeed permit travel card users to buy cameras, watches, sporting goods, and so on, all with their golf card. Implementing and maintaining this system costs Gulf Oil millions of dollars. And while the end result is increased business to the Gulf dealers, they are not charged for this service. There is only a small nominal charge by Gulf for the addressograph imprinters. There's no comparison with it to the uh master charge, where you have to pay a carrying charge. It must be 4% on, uh, on the card. Where on golf, it doesn't cost me a cent, so I'd rather have the golf anytime. The vast majority of small businesses, comparable in size to a golf dealer, seldom get a system as efficient as golf's. And even when they do, they must pay for it. Sometimes as much as 6% of the amounts charged I've uh, thought about one of those credit card systems um, through the banks, but they want to discount your collections. And, uh, well, in this business, every dollar counts. Is the travel card the solution to all the dealer's problems? Will it make them a millionaire overnight? Is it some sort of magic card trick that transforms a passing motorist into an eager buyer? The answer to all these questions is, of course, no. Marketing in today's society requires a complex mixture of skills. Remember the good old days when that personal service formed a permanent bond between merchant and customer? It still does. So important. Those happen to be these two particular people that run the station. Well, it's quite convenient to uh, have a golf card, and uh, uh, I especially like these, these gentlemen here that I'm dealing with. It's fast, uh, efficient service. Service. I like the people that run the station. Well, I like the service.
With the exception of the front windshield, the average motorist spends more time looking out his back window than any other window on his car. It has been said that service is the rent we pay for the space we occupy on Earth. If this is true, then the best way to increase our space on Earth is to increase our service. Petroleum marketers were among the first who learned long ago the wisdom of this. What do they call their retail outlets? Service stations. Service isn't selling gasoline and tires. You get paid for this. Give the customer something he isn't paying for, like clean restrooms, courteous treatment, and service for his car, and he'll keep coming back. While the dealer is doing this, he's adding value to whatever the buyer is paying for. Obviously, the travel card has become a necessary tool for dealers, as important as any other of the many tools used daily. But like the other equipment we have, our credit system requires proper usage and maintenance if we expect to get the most out of it. Mere knowledge of the total system does not of itself ensure success. We must put certain procedures into practice as habit. But a basic understanding of the system is important. This travel card application is used for customers and prospects who do not yet have cards. It can be mailed by you or by your customer directly to Gulf. When the card is issued to the customer, it becomes a part of the dealer's system. When the customer presents a card which is bent, worn, or damaged, it pays to fill out a request for a new one because the card is expected to do a writing job with the imprinter. Less glamorous, but no less important, is the invoice. It is a two-part form. The top copy goes to the customer and becomes his receipt. The bottom copy goes to the Gulf Travel Card Center. The impression made on the bottom or hard copy of the invoice must be clean and properly positioned. This is important because this copy is what carries the information into the computer. Smudges and other marks will make no sense to the computer. Writing inside the imprinting area will likewise render that invoice useless. This is where care pays off. Travel card statements are made up daily, sent to golf, along with invoices. Promptness here means better bookkeeping, reduced chance of loss due to misplaced invoices, keeps the customer satisfied by prompt billing, and last but not least, gets the dealer his money. The Golf Travel Card Center at Houston receives over 100,000 new applications each month. And this amount is constantly growing. We want every responsible customer to have a card. And this takes time. A little patience here, pays off in the long run. A computer cannot think creatively. It is dependent upon man to feed it accurate information if it is to produce accurate results. Oddly, Men who are technically oriented enough to repair and replace complex parts of an automobile somehow find it difficult to make a relatively easy imprint on a piece of paper with an imprinter. All this sophisticated equipment 
This massive system does not cost a dealer one cent, not a penny. Yet, despite the benefits in dollar volume and steady customers, many dealers still find it difficult to master a relatively simple mechanical task. A significant number of these cards are rejected by this machine. This means that they cannot be entered into the computer system without going through time-consuming and error-producing effort. Handling these invoices manually means increased cost, slower billing to the customer, and slower payment to Gulf. If we can't read it, we can't bill it. Gulf makes no compromise with security. When you're working with invoices, you're working with cash. A good thing to remember, especially in guarding the blank invoices. If this system is to continue to be provided free of charge, we must do what we can to keep costs down by permitting the computer to do the job of a large staff. Setting the date wheels is a once daily task. During each transaction, the procedure begins by filling out the invoice with the items purchased, prices, license number, and total dollar amount of the sale. If it's an out-of-state purchaser, the state is entered. He then places the travel card face up in the imprinter, places the invoice on the top of the card, and uses the levers to set the amount of the sale in the imprinter. The imprinting handle is then moved across and back. It prints the top portion of the information going to the right and the bottom portion as it goes back to the left. The invoice is then presented to the customer on the clipboard for his signature and his card is returned. And don't forget to thank your customer like you really mean it. The customer is given the top copy and the bottom copy is stored in the lock compartment of the imprinter. If it's a sale involving more than $15, you have a number to call. This puts you in touch with the computer center. Cards are very easy to check. As far as uh, checking the customer's credit, all we have to do is call the operator for national data, and it takes us about less uh, about three minutes to do the whole thing. We can tell right away it's a credit card. Is, is okay, and if we can go ahead with the sale, or if the card is rejected, or if we're trying to pick up for it. He will give us a number and protect the customer and the dealer. After you give the customer's information and purchase amount, the computer makes an instantaneous search, and an operator responds with an okay that includes the authorization number which you put on the invoice. This is a fast and painless procedure, taking about 30 seconds. Taking your phone off the hook, in these instances, takes you off the hook. This time payment invoice is used whenever the customer wants extended terms. Where humans are involved, errors are always possible, but the addressograph imprinter reduces them to the irreducible minimum. The money amount levers must be reset each time an imprint is made. This forces the attention of the attendant on the keyboard. It keeps you from recording the amount from the previous sale. Gulf Oil has been a real good company to do business with as far as uh, being up to date on everything. They've improved the station considerably. They've uh, been awful good to be here. Well, I think well, it's a good company to deal with. Oh, I'm, they're very good to me. They're real good to me, and uh, I'm happy to be with them.
I don't know. I've never been with no other company, so I don't know. But they've been good to me, and I'm happy here, so that's the main thing. If a person's happy, well, that's half the battle. One can measure man's progress by the tools he has developed to do his work and ease the burdens of daily toil. There are those students of merchandising sociology who predict that we will eventually achieve a cashless society where everything is purchased on credit and where the average American will receive a statement of credit to an account rather than a paycheck, all spendable through the use of plastic cards imprinters, and computers. One thing is fairly certain. He will give up all his cash before he relinquishes his love affair with the automobile. It is up to the golf dealer to keep that love affair running smoothly.